What's up everybody, how's it going? In one of my recent videos, one of you asked me to share my thoughts on how the coronavirus pandemic is affecting and is going to affect in the future the software engineering job market. I thought that this was a very important and interesting topic, so this is what this video is going to be about. I do have to make one quick important disclaimer, which is that everything that I'm going to be saying in this video is really just my opinion, my assessment of the whole situation. Don't take it as some sort of absolute truth. It is merely my opinion, but hopefully you can get some value out of it and hopefully it'll resonate with you. So with that, I think that when we think about the impact of the pandemic on the software engineering job market, we really have to dissect it into two parts. The first one is the short-term impact. In other words, how has it currently affected the software engineering industry and job market. And then the second part is the more medium to longer term impact. How will it affect the industry and the job market for software engineers in the future? If we look at the short term impact, I think that it's clear that it's affected the software engineering job market. And there are really three ways in which it's done that. The first one is that some software engineers have been purely and simply laid off. And usually this has been by companies whose entire business models have been completely thrown upside down by the pandemic, like for instance, Uber or Bird, the electric scooter company, where it makes sense because their entire business model has just been completely altered and it basically comes down to they no longer need or rather they cannot sustain having as many software engineers as they previously had. And this is really the most brutal way in which the pandemic has affected the software engineering job market right now because at the end of the day losing your job just sucks, right? It's a terrible thing to go through and it's brutal. The second way in which the pandemic has currently affected the software engineering job market is some people have gotten offers like full-time offers or internship offers rescinded, not necessarily because the companies have basically been completely messed up by the pandemic, but more so because the companies weren't prepared to shift to a remote-only sort of work environment. So for example, there are a lot of companies that canceled their internship programs, not necessarily because they couldn't afford to have interns, but more so because they didn't really have the setup or the environment in place to provide a good internship experience remotely. Or perhaps it didn't make sense for them to onboard a new junior engineer remotely, given the way that their setup is currently. And of course, it sucks to be on the receiving end of that. It's never fun to get your offer for an internship or a full-time position rescinded. However, this is a little bit different than those companies that laid off software engineers because literally they could not afford to keep them anymore because their business model had gotten demolished. And then the third way that the pandemic has affected the industry right now is that some companies whose business models haven't been too affected, maybe tangentially affected, have decided to slow down their hiring of software engineers and of other functions, but specifically of software engineers. And this makes sense. You know, a company might not be destroyed. They might still be doing pretty well even, but they might think, given that we're likely not going to see that much growth in the next few months or years, we're going to slow down our hiring a little bit. We're not going to go on a huge spree looking for a bunch of software engineers. So it's pretty clear that the pandemic has had currently a negative impact on the software engineering job market. It has had an undeniable negative short-term impact on the software engineering job market. Not as bad of an impact as on other markets, like for instance, the travel industry or the restaurant industry, but a negative short-term impact nonetheless. But now let's look at the long-term impact. And this is where I think that in the long-term or even the medium term, this pandemic will actually have little to no no negative impact, if not even a positive impact, on the software engineering industry and the software engineering job market. That's right, I actually believe, I'd be willing to bet, if I were a betting man, I would bet that in the long term, even the medium term, this pandemic will actually bolster the software engineering job market. It'll make it more vibrant, it'll make software engineers more in demand, and it'll make 
the software engineering job market more appealing to newcomers, to prospective software engineers. And there are four reasons for which I believe this. The first one is that if we take a step back and look at the macro theme or trend of how the coronavirus pandemic has impacted the world, the clear theme is that the world is shifting or has already shifted to a remote first philosophy. In other words, everything now is happening remotely from home. You're no longer going to places physically. Of course, there are exceptions, but you get the idea. And this is where there are very few industries or job functions that lend themselves as well to remote work as the software engineering industry and the job of a software engineer. Software engineering is something that by nature can be done remotely. And the perfect proof for that is that even before the pandemic even was a thing, remote work was a thing in the software engineering industry. There were many big tech companies and startups that allowed engineers to work remotely at least a few days a week if they wanted to. For instance, at Google or at Facebook, you can work from home if you want to and if your manager and team are okay with it. There were some companies like GitHub or Coinbase that offered certain software engineering positions fully remotely. The entire position was remote year round. And then there were some companies like GitLab that were entirely remote. Every software engineer at GitLab, and to be honest, everyone at GitLab, not just software engineers, worked before the pandemic remotely. At the end of the day, if you've got a computer and an internet connection, you basically have everything that you need to be a productive software engineer. For instance, for me on Algo Expert, all that I need is this laptop behind me here and an internet connection, and I can do all of the software engineering work that we need to do on Algo Expert. And I should say, for those of you who didn't know this already, we've been a fully remote company at Algo Expert since the very beginning. I've always been based in New York, and to be honest, right now I'm actually traveling a little bit. I'm out of state. My co-founder Antoine has been based in the Bay Area. Our two other team members are based in the central United States, and we've been able to do all of our software engineering work with no problem remotely. By the way, if you're preparing for coding interviews or your systems design interviews, check out my company Algo Expert. Go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM, CLEM, for a discount on the platform. So the point is that unlike other industries that are going to have incredibly tough operational challenges ahead of them with this remote first environment or philosophy that we're going to be in with the pandemic now, the software engineering industry isn't going to have this challenge because it's right at home in a remote first environment. The second reason is that we live in a day and age where the grand majority of companies that surround us are extremely dependent on tech, even if their main product or service isn't a tech product or service. As an example, Uber is a taxiing company, and yet it's extremely dependent on tech. McDonald's, you would think, is a fast food company, it's a food and beverages company, and yet you walk into any McDonald's in New York City, and to be honest, anywhere around the world these days, and you've got a bunch of screens where you put your orders, and that's all dependent on tech. They're very well integrated into things like Uber Eats, that's very tech heavy, and who knows all sorts of tech that they have behind the scenes to analyze what their popular items are, and so on and so forth. Airline companies, finance companies, all of these companies are extremely dependent on tech. At the end of the day, so many of these companies are fueled by software, and that means that software engineering is critical to their business model. And what that in turn means is that all of these companies are gonna need software engineers. If there's one job function that they're gonna need, it's a software engineer. The third reason that I think the pandemic is actually gonna end up having a positive effect for the software engineering industry is that even though there are admittedly many companies right now that have been extremely negatively impacted, and we mentioned some of them like Uber or Bird, there are some companies that have actually truthfully benefited from the pandemic. The perfect example is Zoom. By now, I would bet that most of you have heard about Zoom, and that alone is a testament to how much Zoom has grown and effectively benefited from the pandemic, simply because they had a product that happened to be very useful in a remote-first culture. The point that I'm trying to make here is that while some companies have been very much negatively affected and might have lost the need for software engineers, 
other companies like Zoom have been positively affected and have gained the need for software engineers. Zoom is likely going to need more software engineers now. Take a company like Amazon. Amazon has seen its sales increase tremendously during the pandemic because online shopping has become more popular. Take a company like YouTube. I don't have that much data on YouTube, but I bet you that YouTube watch time has gone up because so many people are at home. All of the people who produce content for YouTube, in other words, YouTube creators like me, are unaffected in producing this content because we just film these YouTube videos from our homes and it's no big deal. The point is there are many companies that have actually benefited from this pandemic. And because they've benefited and are continuing to grow a lot, you can bet that they're going to need more software engineers. And here, by the way, an interesting data point might be us on AlgoExpert. We've actually been extremely fortunate to be one of these companies that really doesn't seem to have been affected by the pandemic. We've continued to grow very healthily, and we've just seen a continued demand for interview prep material for software engineering positions. So that should be a little indicator that software engineers right now are still getting interviews for software engineering positions, likely in large part from some of these companies that are thriving during the pandemic, like Zoom and Amazon. The fourth and final reason is actually kind of similar to the previous one that I just mentioned, and it's that even though some companies and industries have been flipped upside down, we've said this many times now, with this new world that we live in, this remote first world, which will certainly come with a lot of challenges, will also come a lot of room for innovation. In other words, there are many new problems that didn't exist in the pre- remote first world that we used to live in, but that now exist, that don't have clear solutions where people are going to be able to innovate. For instance, I'm sure that we're going to see a lot more companies pop up in the food delivery space, or we're going to see a lot more companies pop up in the remote work productivity space, or in the virtual reality space. And all of these spaces that I'm talking about here, what do they have in common? A big reliance on tech and a big need for software engineering talent. So all of these new tech companies that are going to pop up with solutions to all of these new problems that are popping up now, all of these new companies are going to need software engineers. The software engineering job market is going to explode and become very promising, and that is why I think that it's still good to be a software engineer right now. These were all the points that I wanted to make. Let me know what you think about them in the comments below. What do you think about the software engineering job market with this whole pandemic? Smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on LinkedIn and I will see you in the next video.